Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Coming to America. What do you know about this movie? Uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I don't know anything either. I assume it's Eddie Murphy, Coming to America. But we had so many recommendations for this because we just watched Trading Places. Trading Places was like the first time we had Eddie Murphy on the channel. Mm -hmm. We've seen, I wanna say plenty of Eddie Murphy stuff, but maybe we haven't because we haven't seen any of the like Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop, no. A lot of people say something called 48 Hours. Oh, okay. Haven't seen that. So maybe I just like know of Eddie Murphy because it's Eddie Murphy, you know, like everyone knows Eddie Murphy, obviously like Donkey from Shrek. Yes, yeah, Donkey from Shrek and The Nutty Professor. Oh yeah. That's and Eddie Murphy, right? That's Eddie Murphy. And I guess a Dr. Doolittle, right? Yes. Okay. I don't think I've seen any of the Nutty Professor, or no, I'm thinking of Nor Norbert, Norbert, something like that. I haven't seen that. Yeah. So there's a lot of Eddie Murphy that we haven't seen apparently. Yeah. And I guess there's enough where we know how awesome Eddie Murphy is. But going back, we had so many recommendations from Coming to America, no, from- Four. Four Coming, Coming to, to America, America from Trading Places. Yeah. Uh, also, specifically, I guess the Duke brothers are back, possibly. Yeah, I think making a small cameo of sorts in this one. So I'm excited to see them again because I just really enjoyed Trading Places. Yeah, and I think that's what it was, is we had such a fun time with Trading Places that we immediately knew, okay, we want to do more Eddie Murphy much sooner. So yeah. that's why we threw Coming to America on the schedule. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those things are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh, an Eddie Murphy production. Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson, no way. Wow. Yeah, quite a place. Oh, I didn't even see the elephants. Oh no. I heard them before I saw them. I was too busy looking at this castle. No oh. way, that's how you wake up? Good morning, your highness. Good morning, your highness. Good morning, your highness. Okay, Eddie, I see what you did here. You created a story where you get to be super rich. <laughs> yes, it is my birthday. No, that's what they're there for? It is my 21st birthday. You You're only 21? Just once, I might use the bathroom by myself. Wipers! No. <laughs> he just wants to poop alone. <laughs> Doesn't do anything alone, it looks like. Oh my god. I mean, he... It clearly seems frustrated that he can't do anything alone. Yeah. <laughs> Flowers. Today is your 21st birthday, which means you meet your wife to be. Oh. Curious, but how can a man get excited about a woman he's never seen? And he can't even pick his own wife? Even though I think statistically arranged marriages work out better than <laughs> traditional marriage. Make sure it's not poison, or it's just suitable. <laughs> he certainly is quiet this morning. <laughs> is something troubling you, my oh son? Oh my gosh. I am more than the exalted ruler of this land and the master of all I survey. I'm also a concerned dad. <laughs> How nice. It looks as if he's coming down here to talk to us. Hey, get back. Wait right there. <laughs> Rosebetters. Oh my God, he's in front of the roses. <laughs> it's just an elephant. <laughs> You've grown a mustache. Joffy, it has been a year. Seriously, how little do they see each other? If there were no rose petals, I would still be the son of a king. Anyone who throws roses at my son's feet will answer to me. <laughs> Father. <laughs> just execute them. The dressing, the bathing. Actually, I'd rather enjoy the bait. Yeah, you're probably okay with that one. <laughs> I was so nervous, I became nauseous. There is a very fine line between love and nausea. 
<laughs> what? I am a man who has never tied his own shoes before. I tied my own shoes once. It is an overrated experience. <laughs> once? <laughs> I was just about to take the birthday boy for his daily workout. Excuse me, father. Damn, those three ladies are out of a job now, though. <laughs> now let's see if you can defend yourself, you sweat from a baboon's balls. <laughs> Probably the only fun he actually has. I'm surprised they don't fight for him. <laughs> so you say you can have a woman who'll obey your every command, but you'd rather have a woman who has an opinion? <laughs> to truly love your wife, you will value her opinion. Whoa, dang. So you would share your bed and your fortune with a beautiful fool. It is tradition. Is this just like birthday fireworks? Everyone celebrates his birthday. Run engagement t-shirt. Step one, step on Get your run engagement t-shirt. Oh, it's the engagement. I offer my daughter to your son. Let the courtship commence. Dang, is that like a leopard? Excuse me. I'm oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Um. Uh... Presenting Miss Amani Aziz. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang, everyone get out of the way. So cool. Yeah, what a cool show. Man, I could watch a whole movie just dancing. That was really cool. She's your queen. She looks queenly. Queenly. Free from infection <laughs> to be used at your discretion. <laughs> what a song. Great job. Maybe he'll really like her. May I talk to you alone for a moment, please? It's like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Is this normal? She has to walk like 20 feet into the room, though. <laughs> for her train? <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep going. Ever since I was born, I've been trained to serve you. But I would like to know about you. What do you like? I don't know if there is a you. Do you have a favorite food? Yes. Good. What is your favorite food? Whatever food you like. Oh, God. Every answer is this. From this moment on, I command you not to obey me. No. <laughs> is... Are you saying... <laughs> yeah, is she doing... <laughs> Bark like a dog. A big dog. Woof. <laughs> Hop on one leg. Woof. 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 Make a noise like Woof. an orangutan. Don't go too far with this. <laughs> I see the two of you are getting along. <laughs> Excuse me, Manny, for a moment. Tell her to stop. <laughs> Poor Some queen. Talent. Yeah, and heels with yeah. a fine girl, isn't she? I told you not to worry. Still hear her. <laughs> Let's go for a stroll. <laughs> oh my god. You're so small. I want to meet an elephant. Yeah. I have yet to experience what the outside world has to offer. So you want to sow your royal oats? Fulfill every erotic desire. <laughs> and in 40 days, you will come back and marry your money. 40 days? I love all the animal shots. Right? Prepare the royal baggage! Party's over, everyone. I want a woman that's going to arouse my intellect as well as my loins. Where shall we go? Los Angeles or New York? <laughs> Two options. Here's New York, tails Los Angeles. We go to New York. Okay. A woman suitable for a king. Queens? Queens. <laughs> Dang, they're flying on a Concorde or whatever that is. Mr. Frank Osnowitz, please pick up a white courtesy telephone. Oh, I was like, is he gonna stand out? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Remember, Simi, no one here can know I am royalty. You must appear to be no different than- <laughs> I will not say a word. Rick Sherwood's like 929 Look totally normal. Look at all that luggage. It's the royal baggage. You can't just walk in- oh! 
Oh, I guess that worked. You dumb fuck! Take us to Queens at once. <laughs> Did they strap it? We're not rich. We're ordinary African students. Take us to the most common part. There's one thing Queens has got a lot of. It's common parts. This is gonna be such a shock. What does dumb fuck mean? <laughs> They're shooting up for you. Yes, this is perfect. They don't even have like a hotel anything lined up. Nothing. Are they gonna get like robbed right away? Imagine a country so free, one can throw glass on the streets. <laughs> Listen, real Americans <laughs> screaming at each other. Now that was a great boxer. You damn right. Who's now, who? Boy, that's Clay was a bad motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't saying Clay ain't bad. That's gotta be Eddie. I say Clay. Get out of here. <laughs> that's right. Oh shit, that's uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Jr. That's who I was pointing at, but I couldn't remember what his name was. <laughs> Radio. <laughs> okay, now what the fuck do you want? <laughs> we desire a room. Come on in, gentlemen. Is this even a hotel? Yeah, I was oh. like, they just left all their stuff out there. I knew they would get robbed immediately. Your rent's due, motherfucker. And don't be pulling that falling down the stairs shit on me, you hear? Are you conscious? <laughs> Every month he just falls down the stairs. A little bit of an insect problem, but you boys from Africa, you're used to that. They are not used to that. Got just one window facing a brick wall. Used to rent it to a blind man. Ugh. Is that blood? It's <laughs> just dead body outlines. Damn shame what they did to that dog. Oh, he killed his dog? We will take the room. Yes. Man, he's going to the extreme opposite. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, fuck you! <laughs> yes! Fuck you too! <laughs> He's fitting right in. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm beginning wow. to suspect that these are the people that have stolen our luggage. <laughs> Yo, you wanna buy some toothbrushes, man? This is some real fly <laughs> personal hygiene equipment I got here, man. Dang, solid gold. Well, rid of those material things, let them wear our princely robes. Let us dress as New Yorkers. Nice. Just let your soul go. No way. Don't look 75 years old when they fought. I don't know how old it was, but he got an ass whooped. <laughs> how old is Joe Lewis? You know what Frank told me? He said, hey, Joe Lewis, 137 years old. <laughs> oh, man, you ain't never meet no Frank Sinatra. Fuck you. <laughs> Just make it nice and neat. Oh. That'll be $8. Just like that. I think it is time to find your queen. Just like the constant smile plastered on his face. <laughs> I hope everything just keeps going smooth. I've got a secret. I wish up the devil. <laughs> what? That's the first woman you speak to? Yeah, well, you know, baby, I'm almost single. My husband's on death row. Oh, okay. I'm into the group thing. I was Joan of Arc in my former life. What fucking women? That's... <laughs> I want to tear you apart. And your friend too. <laughs> I didn't know there would be so much uh, like playing other characters yeah. in this. Or does every woman in New York have a severe emotional problem? There were some solid options there. The Black Awareness Rally? It's gonna be some fine women there. Good, good, clean girl. When I look at these contestants uh, for the Miss Black Awareness pageant, uh, I feel good. I wasn't expecting a pageant show. <laughs> I thought it would be like a rally or something. Apparently, these are the best women Queens has to offer. Pick one and let's go home. <laughs> let's pick one. Be patient, my friend. Lord, Lord. Do you love him? <laughs> Do you feel joy? Oh, it's sponsored by Soul Glow. Lord, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. This is a little bit of everything. Big round of applause for Jackson Heights' own Randy Watson. <laughs> that boy is good. It's not that many claps. I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, Sexual Chocolate. Sexual Chocolate? 
Also, the makeup is way too good. Like, is this Eddie Murphy right now? It sounds like him. Inside of me. All right, well. <laughs> so my drop. I like to thank Mr. Cleo McDowell. I know you proud of your lovely daughter. We are. I have a feeling that's his queen. Girl, you look so good, somebody ought to put you on a plate and sop you up with a biscuit. Uh-oh, there's another man in the picture. We need to rebuild Lincoln Park. Give all you can. Oh man, how much is he about to give? We're happy to get the kind of money that jingles, but we'd rather get the kind that folds. Wow. Oh, oh get him out of here. It's donation, it's a donation. I thought it was a trash. Don't we <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Is that all of their money? Yeah. Do, they, do they have a way of getting more money? I don't know. <laughs> 8507 Queens Boulevard. 8507 Queens Boulevard. There you go. You got her location. McDowell's. Okay, so this is just a McDonald's. <laughs> Were you seeing the logo everywhere? Yeah, but I didn't. I, it sounded like they were saying McDonald's still. I want you to wash all the windows. What are you doing? Get the hell out of here before I bust that camera. Huh. What's wrong with the pictures? Look, me and the McDonald's people. Oh. They got the golden arches. Mine is the golden arcs. arcs. Ooh, you're in a rough spot. They use a sesame seed bun. Oh, my buns have no seats. So it's just the bun? I guess. Got them up the food prep area twice a day. You know how to mop. No, they do not. There you go. <laughs> Come with me. I got an easy job for you. I'm surprised they got jobs. <laughs> I have recently been placed in charge of garbage. That's good to know. When you think of garbage, think of Aki. <laughs> I have to get back to my sanitation duties. Maybe we'll have a chance again to talk on a professional level. Goodbye, Akeem. Okay, a little bit of a rough start. Hey, he talked to her. Yeah. So much soul glow. He's feeling himself. Hey, how about a mixed shake? I believe <laughs> strawberry is your favorite. Lisa's in the back. I've seen that guy somewhere too. Look who's here, honey. Hi. You two kids have a good time here. Yeah? Now, are they already together or what? The other day at the rally, somebody stuffed a large amount of cash into one of the collection boxes. He's gonna take credit, huh? Well, I, uh... I thought it was you. Oh, he didn't even, you know me. <laughs> Anything for the kids. Disgusting. Hey, uh, take care of this for me, will you? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Dr. K ain't come walk around like that. You know, sweet, I met Dr. Martin Luther King once. Oh, did you? Hit me in my chest, right? I fall on the ground and I look up at Dr. Martin Luther King. I say, Dr. King. He said, Oops, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> well, I am trying to gain the interest of a certain young lady. Ain't got nothing to do with your hair or your pocket. You get in good with American woman's father, you in good with her. Ain't that right? Oh. He ain't lying. I mean, the other guy was giving her dad tickets. Yep. I mean, this would be significantly easier if they knew he was a <laughs> prince. And in the end, the giants triumph by kicking an oblong ball made of pigskin to a big age. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you this one time. You want to keep working here. Stay off the drugs. <laughs> I don't know how it is in Africa, but... Here, rich guys get all the chicks. Yes, he must work very hard. The Prince of Soul Glow work hard? Prince of Soul Glow? He could buy her anything he wants. Interesting. How are you gonna compete with that? Buy more. But I thought he didn't want someone that liked him for his money. Tough. <laughs> Delivery for Miss Lisa McDowell. I'll take it. I'm his sister. Would you sign here, please? Oh no, what did he buy? Why is there a cop? Something for you. <laughs> Do you mind if I open it? Whoa. Oh, that's why there's a cop. From an admirer, not Daryl. <laughs> Somebody's messing around. Not Daryl. Not everybody thinks like you, Patrice. Yes, they do. <laughs> They're getting good. 
Do you realize I have not had sex since we got to America? <laughs> Simi, look. There she is. Oh, she's not wearing them. We got an extra ticket for the St. John's game tomorrow. Wanna come? <gasps> yes. Good. You can double date with me and Daryl. Daryl. I like his the sister better yeah. than than the one he's going for anyways. Why don't you take off your jacket, Akeem? Yes. Whoa. Are you able to follow the game, Akeem? Oh yes. <laughs> he's getting a hand job. No, we play football. I believe you call it soccer. <laughs> soccer. <laughs> you know, personally, I don't like any sport where you don't use your hands. Yes! <laughs> what are you doing? It's just a halftime. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Jacket. I cannot believe it. Greetings, your highness. Oh, no. This is the greatest day of my life. Uh oh. It was very nice meeting you two. Excuse me. Uh oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Shoot, now they're going to know that he's royalty. The rest of my life. <laughs> Aww. This ruins everything, though. Just the man I met in the restroom. Okay. Maybe they won't dig any deeper. He didn't say your highness again in front of them. Oh, so. no? No. I'll get you some coffee. <laughs> Just mop your way over. I hope Daryl didn't offend you. Sometimes he can be pretty obnoxious. <laughs> well, he cannot help it. <laughs> he who would learn to fly one day must first learn to stand and walk. That is not mine, that is Nietzsche's. <laughs> Most of the guys who work here don't go around quoting Nietzsche. Oh, Samuel Jackson. Oh, oh Samuel, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Take the money out, all of it. Don't stall me, fat boy, let's go. <laughs> Come on. It's like he just came in straight from a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> Anybody move out, blow your fucking head off. <laughs> Stop stalling. Oh, he's training. Come on. Don't stall me. It would be wise for you to put the weapon down. Who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> I'll be forced to thrash you. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Freeze, you diseased rhinoceros pizzle. <laughs> what a burn. Was that all we're gonna get a Samuel's accent? You know we've been hit by that guy five times. He's robbed your place five times? Leave Sunday night open. I'm having a little get together at my house. Hey, caught him with the dad. You see, it is working. He has accepted us as equals. Oh, security. Take the keys, park the cars. Valet. I wanna show you the inside of McDowell's little castle. <laughs> oh, that sucks. You know, in 20 or 30 years with hard work, maybe you could have a place like this for yourself. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> it would be. Well, this is where you're going to be working tonight. Whoa. Like a shot glass train? I would have helped you out myself, uh, except, well, I had a cup of coffee in my hand. You understand, right? No. I like the fries better at McDonald's, but I'd never tell Mr. McDowell that. Oh, bitch. Make sure everybody's glass is kept full. We're about to make a very special announcement. Uh -oh. oh no, is he gonna propose, you think? Or is he gonna like buy another restaurant? And Mother Jinx, you come up here too. <laughs> so glow. <good. laughs> Daryl here popped the big question and Lisa happily accepted. What? So as it turns out, this has become an engagement party. Just another arranged marriage. To the bride and groom. <laughs> Get off the island, Lord. I want to talk to you now. Yeah, how did you think that was going to go? Right? You and my father decide to get together to plan my life. I wish you'd let me in on it. It's not like... Don't... What is it like? Here's your moment. <laughs> gonna hang out with me you gotta loosen up again oh i can be loose 
<laughs> I'm just not going to be pressured into marriage, not by Daryl, or my father, or anybody. Something in common. I mean, how could I have even considered marrying a guy like Daryl? I wanted the same thing. <laughs> hey, Akeem, we need some more champagne over here. Watch out, Akeem. <laughs> hey, be careful. I think my sister likes you. <laughs> you think? We cannot afford to anger Mr. McDowell now, especially since things are going so well with Lisa. I'm not going to work today. Oh, he's over this. Soon I'll be on fries, then the grill. A year or two, I make assistant manager. Nice. Why don't you come to my house and I'll fix you dinner? Patrice will be there. <laughs> uh. You cook. I dabble a little, yes. Have you? My home is very poor. I don't care about that. I'd love to see where you live. Okay, it's working. Can't escape that soul glow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Oh shoot, did he fix up the place though? Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong. <sighs> he told him to fix it. It's supposed to be a poor man. Akeem? Akeem. Quick, trash the place. <laughs> everything all right? Uh, everything is fine. Yeah, how... How do you get out of this? If you have ruined my chances with Lisa, I will never forgive you. He only did what you told him to do. I think you're just so ashamed of your apartment, you can't even let me see it. Once again, you have judged correctly. <laughs> <laughs> bothers you that much, we can go out to eat. It's a lot of money. Yeah, right? <laughs> Randolph. Oh, this Duke. I'm still not talking to you. <laughs> Mortimer, we're back. <laughs> oh no. Right? He just set the dukes up for a return. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's have lunch. You have no idea what you just did. <laughs> I bet where you're from, women practically throw themselves at your feet. Pretty much. Please, let me. No, it's not right I should pay. If I wanted a wealthy guy, I'd be with Daryl. I feel like this could backfire, though, because he's essentially building everything off of a lie. That's true. But then you also have to make sure that she likes him for him. I think it'll be okay. What about Daryl? I am not interested in Daryl either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Found his queen. Kindly send 300000 American dollars immediately. You think that'd be enough? <laughs> you are right. 500,000. <laughs> as long as you're asking, why don't we go for a cool million? <laughs> she just thinks he's crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, what's going on? Uh-oh. What are you two involved in? You can't afford all this stuff on your salary. Uh-oh. Don't blow it, Patrice. In all of these things, well... <laughs> Someone's so <laughs> pissing off the whole neighborhood. I wonder if Patrice is still there. Sammy, I just had the most wonderful. Oh! Waterbed. Waterbed. <laughs> Sorry things didn't work out between you and me, but you understand. Oh, how dare you. Sweet prince. Maybe he said he's the prince or something. Oh, okay. You must not tell a soul. Your secret is safe with me, your highness. There we go. That was probably the best he could do. Yeah. If you're the prince, then who am I? You're him. That, that should work. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't do that from the very beginning. <laughs> What's wrong with the king? Lisa, you told me yourself. He's a goat herder. Dang. Why don't you marry Daryl? Dresses real nice, treats you real good. Does he? My friend Simi has altered the apartment and um, we would like to exchange it for another. This stuff ain't hot, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna let you boys stay in my apartment and I'll move up here. <laughs> what a sacrifice. Does your apartment look poor? Yeah, it's a real shithole. <laughs> I have a date with Lisa. Isn't that wonderful? Stranger danger. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, did the telegram go through? Fuck, uh, his parents are here? Oh, the rose petals. <laughs> no. 
No way, a lion? <laughs> this is beautiful. What is that, velvet? Lion. I have come for my son, Akeem. Oh, yeah, yeah, him. He around here someplace. He live upstairs on the fifth floor. First floor now. Hey, who gonna clean up all these flowers? <laughs> what is this? I think he works there. My son works? <laughs> How dare he? He moved downstairs. Apartment 1A. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is Akeem? He went out. So how is your flight? Comfortable, I trust? <laughs> you have disgraced yourself, and you must be punished. Oh. You will confine yourself to our royal suite at the Waldorf Astoria. <laughs> what a punishment. And I want you to bathe him thoroughly. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Don't say thank you. You they would treat like a queen. Wonder why. Okay. <laughs> oh. His picture. Let us go. Now? Yes. Right now. <laughs> I mean, the jig's gonna be up very shortly. Oh, what a phone. That's really cool. Yeah, about nine o'clock. Lisa will be home by then. Damn, he's really pushing Daryl. Hey, that's McDonald's. Oh! There's some people here to see you. You. He is searching for his son, Akeem. Your son? Yes, my son, the prince. A prince? <laughs> I always knew there was something special about that boy. Did you? When you see him, call me. I I'll tell him you're here. <laughs> he gets paid. Oh, uh, thank you, yeah, your royalness. I wonder if it's... <laughs> He's on the money. <laughs> <laughs> A prince! <laughs> Daryl's gone. Yeah, bye, Daryl. <laughs> wonder if they left anyone here. Oh. At the house. I mean, Semi won't be there. Uh-oh. Mm. Quite a clue. Look who's here. Akeem, it's good to see you. Wow. Wonder what's different. I wonder if she'll see the money. Oh. Or if he'll just straight up and say it. Yeah. Well, perhaps some other time, so I really have to get going. Oh, no, sit down. I'll be right back with that drink. I wonder if he's going to call them. Yeah, King, both the kids are here, together. Now, King, I was wondering if... Hello, King? <laughs> I really have to go, sir. Oh, no, 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 have a seat right here. Uh, excuse me. There's no way they're that... Oh, it's got to be Daryl. Oh, maybe. He's going to send him away if it's Daryl. Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Excuse me. Still Daryl? I like the cut to the dog. Daryl, the girl doesn't like you anymore. Can't you get that through your greasy head? <laughs> now, where were we? Daryl, get the hell. <laughs> I warned you, didn't I? Dottie, get him. Oh. oh. <laughs> I just put some delicious hors d'oeuvres in the oven. Son? Son? <laughs> She's like, that's a change. Oh, Lisa, you did it this time! You hit the jackpot! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is gonna be upset. I think she might be. He's been lying to her this whole time. Where's he planning to go, though? Oh, is that the Waldorf? Yeah. I mean, he knows Semi's there, but... He's got to know everyone else is there, too. Oh, look who's here. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Probably should start with your son's not here anymore. Right? Also, oh, where are their umbrellas? Y your son ought to be back in a minute. Yeah, sit down. Here, try the lazy boy. Oh, lazy boy? It is very nice. Yeah, put your feet up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you haven't got enough money to buy my daughter off. Nonsense. Dang. Now you say one more word about Lisa here, and I'm gonna break my foot off in your royal ass. <laughs> Their son, the prince, is in love with your sister, but the king here, he can't handle it. Oh, they're back. Why are you hugging him? He's just the servant. <laughs> oh. He's the prince. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> just back away. I love her. Then go after her. Oh. 
I forbid you. Put a sock in it, Joffy. The boy's in love. <laughs> this dog's ready to fight anyone. Daryl. Lisa dumped me. The first thing we have to do is get you out of these wet clothes. <laughs> Stare right at the camera. Oh, it's a crime. <laughs> I did not mean to hurt you. Well, you can keep them, because I don't want them. Good catch. I wanted you to love me for who I am. I'm not sure who you are. I'm the man you fell in love with. Should it matter that I'm a prince? <laughs> You're a prince? Getting a show. Just tell me you didn't love me when you thought I was a goat herder, and I will never bother you again. <laughs> I am no longer the prince of the Munda. I renounce my throne. Don't do that. <laughs> That's a little far. So what do you think? <laughs> Go on, honey. Take a chance. Dan Aykroyd, right? No, that See You Next Wednesday poster has been in... You, you've seen it before? Was yeah. it in Trading Places? or? Why I can't. You can't? He's a prince. If you're really a prince, I'll marry you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you just made a cool 500k. And he didn't chase her. Yeah, why didn't he go after her? Look at it this way. At least we learned how to make French fries. <laughs> You're still not speaking to me. <laughs> Even if she said yes, they still could not marry. It is against the tradition. Who am I to change it? The king. I thought you were the king. Uh, are you listening? <laughs> is it her? <laughs> yeah, is it gonna be Lisa? <laughs> I think that's her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We have not come to that part yet. <laughs> if you like, we can give it all up now. Yeah. <laughs> Marcel? Oh, from uh... Housewives. <laughs> I literally was looking at her. I was like, she I, looks she really did familiar. Look familiar. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That was Eddie Murphy? Uh, <laughs> what do you know from funny, you bastard? <laughs> All right. That was Coming to America. What'd you think? That was great. Yeah, that was a ton of fun. There was a lot of good, like, heart moments. I was gonna say, I wasn't expecting so much of like a romance movie. Yes, yeah, I was expecting like a lot more straightforward comedy, especially just, you know, anything like coming to America. Right, like that whole, what is it, like fish out of water type of situation. Yeah. Like obviously they played with that a little bit, but it was very much more just like a romantic comedy. Yes. Eddie Murphy is obviously always fantastic. Arsenio Hall was great. I feel like they were a great duo. Yeah, they were. And the fact that they played so many characters. That was something I was not expecting either. Like I didn't expect the romance element and obviously Eddie Murphy plays a lot of characters later on in his career. Yeah. But this is like super early, I believe. Obviously like probably very close to being after Trading Places. Yeah. And the makeup was like very good. Yes. Yeah, there were a couple of the characters that I was I was with you. I was like, it sounds like him, but I don't see it at all. Even people that didn't sound like him were him. Yeah. So it was just like, holy crap. So that was really cool for them to play so many characters. Yeah. Also, there was just a lot of people in this that like I recognize, even if I don't remember their name or stuff, but I'm like, oh, I've seen this person before. I've seen this person before. Yeah. Like, even like for five seconds, it was like Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah. Samuel Jackson had like that one Quentin Tarantino scene, like he came straight off the set of like Pulp Fiction or something. Um, so there was just so many people in this movie and still somehow Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall got to play like three or four characters each. Yes. Uh, and it was all hilarious. Yeah, no, it was so good. The humor in it was so good. Obviously in the beginning, like making sure the audience grasps like how wealthy and powerful Akeem is. Yeah. I mean, it was great. Just the sheer like 
ridiculousness uh, of everything that he didn't do. Right, like being woken up by like the orchestra or yeah. whatever. Obviously the, the royal penis washing. Yeah. The fact that he couldn't even wipe his own butt. Uh, the table scene was hilarious. They're with... so far. They have like a full on intercom system. <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, he's walking over here. And like the fla they, they were like- The pan flower girls. Uh, so yeah, I mean, right off the bat, it did such a great job showing you how wealthy they are and also like uh exactly like you said how little akeem actually experienced like he was literally just going through life on autopilot not able to do anything yeah um so it really kind of set the stage for like oh it's gonna be cool to see him experience doing stuff on his own yeah um i liked also watching his experience in Queens, the owner of the apartment building, everyone taking his luggage, uh, obviously the barber shop, and just, you know, chopping off his little piece of hair His in the royal back. hair or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but there were so many good moments. I also liked that they made like Daryl, like not very likable. So it was easy to root for Lisa and Akeem. Yeah, yeah. So Daryl, like obviously he was just the, bad guy or whatever and he was kind of like a mini Akeem or something like still being wealthy yeah but shitty enough of a person that you're you're rooting for Akeem to kind of get his way in there yeah he definitely felt like you know more of the sense of like entitlement right um and using that to kind of woo Lisa yeah yeah whereas like Akeem wanted to strip himself of all of this stuff Daryl was just blatantly using this to his advantage. Yeah. And if he had even more money, he probably would have just been even more extreme. Yeah. Uh, so it was a good balance between the two. Also, like, again, with like the fish out of water stuff, they really didn't play with that too much. Like there could have been so much more of him actually trying to experience things. Yeah. But I kind of like that for the majority of it, he didn't really have like struggles navigating New York or anything. like they got robbed, but they didn't really get robbed and he didn't even care. He was just yeah. like, oh, whatever. Like uh, the whole taxi in the beginning, like I thought, you know, they would go through this like crazy journey of like getting to where they want to go. Yeah. But it was just like, no, whatever. We'll just strap your luggage to the top and keep going. So yeah. it really never went to that extreme of like giving Akeem a crazy amount of like struggle or stuff. Right, which I liked. I liked that they didn't have to focus on that so they yeah. could like move the story along. But I feel like the moments that we did see him as like the fish out of water, it was so good. Like they just did such a good job with it. Yeah, and really like people were actually kind of like nice to him. Like the fact yeah. that they did get the job like right away and yeah. all of the other employees like uh, Ralph, whatever, Louis Anderson, was uh, like nice to them and yeah. stuff. And it really just made the movie focus a lot more on the romantic, like Eddie Murphy trying to woo Lisa uh, for the majority of the movie. Yeah, I wasn't expecting like a romance no. here, but I mean, it was so good. Going back to the relationship between Semi and Akeem, I really liked it. I feel like Semi was such a good like wingman for him but also like he got to the point where he was just getting like over it yeah and for the whole thing to come down to his to akeem's parents the king and the queen having to come there because of his telegram right i'm surprised they didn't just send the money they were like oh you guys are in trouble like we got to figure out what's going on yeah um so for them to come and you know that kind of blew up the whole story obviously mr mcdowell was very much excited by the money <laughs> I mean, it, he was an interesting character because obviously he worked his way up. He definitely was stealing a lot of McDonald's uh, information. Yeah, we got like the whole operations <laughs> book or whatever. So that's an issue. Well, I guess it's not. A, he probably, who cares about that restaurant now? But um, he was an interesting character because he obviously was pursuing his daughter to try to marry up, I guess, in terms of money. Yeah. But it was coming from a place where he was like, I had a shitty childhood. I like don't want you to have to deal with climbing your way up like I did. So that was kind of interesting, but I really liked when he stood up for his daughter. Yes, yeah, I mean, he's coming from a place of, you know, wanting his daughter not to struggle the way that he did, but he also wasn't really considering her feelings at all, announcing that engagement. Right. Um, without even letting her know what was going on. Yeah. But yeah, I think that was like a huge, 180 for him and his character development was how he was defending his daughter. Yeah, I mean, he just ripped up $2 million and was like, 
you say one more word, I'll kick the shit out of you in front of all of your servants here. Yeah. Um, so I really like that moment. And cause I feel like a lot of the character growth was with the parents, surprisingly, obviously with Mr. McDowell, obviously in the end, like that whole situation with Lisa coming up and surprising Akeem at the wedding, that was clearly arranged in a good way by the king and queen. Yeah, I mean, I love that the queen was always on his side. She always wanted to have his back. She wanted him to do what he wanted to do. And although the arranged marriage obviously worked for them, that's not what her son wanted. Like she was willing to let him do what he needed to do. Yeah, and even that like little line of the king being like, well, it's tradition. Like, what am I supposed to do? And the queen is like, you're the king. You can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. You can scrap these traditions and everyone's going to be cool with it. Yeah. Especially if it's for your son's happiness. So yeah. it's cool that so much growth happened with the parents' characters. Akeem was pretty much always Akeem. Yeah. And I mean, you still did have that like element of Lisa falling in love with Akeem for Akeem. Yeah. And I figured it would be like an issue with the fact that he was essentially lying to her this whole time. But it wasn't like the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, he lied about things, I guess, about him, but not about him, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, he was still being himself. Yeah, he was still being Akeem the entire time. Yeah, he just didn't, like, share everything about him. <laughs> he just didn't say that he was wealthy, yeah. but Akeem was always Akeem. Yeah. Like, how he would talk, how he would treat other people, yeah. how he would treat her, like, yeah. that wasn't going to change regardless of his position. Yeah. Um, of course, we had the Dukes. Uh, we obviously, we saw comments on Trading Places that they were gonna be in this film. I didn't even recognize him no. to begin with. So for them to literally be living on the streets, um, but Akeem, you, you have no idea what you just did. Yeah, because as hilarious as that moment is, those are two horrible people <laughs> that you just financially set up for a massive return. Like, I don't know, I don't even know if there is a sequel to Coming to America, but it actually says next up, Amazon original Coming to America. So there, I think there is a sequel actually. Okay. Damn. I wonder if, if the Dukes will be like in that as, well, I don't know how, I, I don't know, but yeah, that, I mean, that was such a hilarious moment. The fact that it was them and it's uh, hilarious that it wasn't like, someone more deserving. I know, that was the only thing is you're like, oh, damn. I mean, that was exciting for the lady on the subway. Yeah. She got those massive earrings. Right. But yeah, I mean, he was, you know, trying to do something good, but it was like, shit. <laughs> you have no idea how bad these dudes are. Um, another moment that I really liked is right in the beginning when they do get robbed and they like come back out and everyone is wearing all their clothes. <laughs> the kids riding by on skateboards. Um, obviously, like living in that apartment and having like the outline of like the dead person with the dead, like seeing eye dog and stuff. It was obviously hilarious movie yeah. because Eddie Murphy is hilarious. Uh, but they just had so much fun with it. And it really was a lot more heartwarming than I thought. Like I genuinely thought it was just going to be pure comedy. Yeah. I also really like the uh, moment where Semi gets um, punished. <laughs> He's like, you must go back to the Waldorf, lock yourself in and get bathed. And he's like, oh, thank you. It's like, I mean, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Whatever, whatever you say. Whatever you say. It's just such a funny uh, script idea too, because it's like Eddie Murphy's idea and story and stuff. So it's hilarious to be like, I, I always like the movies where the people who are in it and they have like that creative control, make it so it's like, oh man, I get to be in this situation where I'm pampered and live in luxury and stuff. I'm a prince. <laughs> I'm a prince. It's like, ah, oh, you clever guy. Yeah. But this was a ton of fun, an absolutely stacked cast. Yeah. Uh, a very heartwarming romantic story that ends well for everyone. Yeah. Uh, so it was awesome. Yeah, no, I had a ton of fun. Thank you guys for recommending this uh, after Trading Places. And let us know what Eddie Murphy film we should check out next. Yeah, I, I know uh, we saw recommendations for at least like Beverly Hills Cop. Yes. Which we haven't seen that, but I'm sure there's gotta be so many more that we need to check out because yeah. this was awesome. Yeah, ton of fun. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.